Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, I truly mean it. Blessings in Jesus. How are you today? Are you anticipating the great things that God will do for you this day? Things that you don't even know about. Protection that he provides. Well, that's exactly what we want to talk about today, friends. Our text is actually going to come out of Genesis. Yes, all the way back to the book of Genesis. And I want to look at chapter 28 and verse 15, which says, Behold, I, your God, am with you, and I will keep you in all places wherever you go, and I will bring you again into the promised land, for I will not leave you until I have done that which I have spoken of you. Now, friends, I want you to stop and think for a moment. Reflect on your life. Think about all the times that you could have went left, but you went right. You could have went backwards, but you went forwards. A car accident that you might have been saved from. An encounter with someone that could have went ugly. A foolish decision that you made, but still worked out in your favor. You see, many times we think on these things and we think that they're just circumstance, happen chance, but they're not friends because God has promised to always be there with us. And even more than that, God has assigned angels to protect us. Look at Matthew, if you would, chapter 18 and verse 10. Now, Jesus is beginning the parable of the lost sheep, but look at what he says. Take heed that you do not despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Their angels. Now, if these little ones have angels assigned to protect them throughout their life, you and I, friends, at one time were one of those little ones. Look at Hebrews, if you would. Chapter 1 and verse 14. In speaking of the angels, he says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister or to serve those who shall be heirs of salvation? Friends, if you're like me, you can remember times where you maybe got a flat and it was a real inconvenience to your day, and it probably caused you much frustration. But you got a little ways down the road and saw some major accident, and you had to ask for forgiveness for allowing that flat to affect you in such a way because you could see the hand of God at work in your life. I mean, how many times have we been roughhousing, playing a sport? We don't know. We could have had a heart attack on the field. We could have been injured, paralyzed, or even killed in a situation. But God has protected us and kept us for a very specific purpose. The question you must ask yourself today, friends, what is your purpose? How are you supposed to fulfill your destiny today? What are you supposed to do today, your purpose that he has fitted you for how can you ensure that you fulfill that purpose today? Because, friends, the truth of the matter is, but by the grace of God, you and I would be six feet under. Turn to Psalm chapter 91 and look at verse 11. He says, He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways, even when you make a bad decision, in all your ways. Even your foolish ways, your rebellious ways. I, I can certainly look back on my life and even when I shook my fist in God's face, he was still there nurturing me, caring for me, and protecting me. And I know, friends, if you stop and think about it, you can remember such times as well. And so he says here, he has given his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. Look at verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee, 
neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. How many sicknesses have you been kept from? How many diseases have you been kept from? You see, it's the, it's the greatest act of the enemy to get us to look back and focus on the things that we shouldn't be looking at or focusing upon at all. What we should be focusing upon is all the times that God has been there and we have been oblivious to his presence. My mind races wild with the thousands of times that God has kept me from harm. And I know that that is true of you as well. So friends, what I want you to do today is I want you just to give praise, give thanks, just a simple thank you, Jesus, for keeping me from such a harmful situation, from such a devastating situation. It could have been financial. It could be physical. It could be spiritual. It could be material. But how many times has he protected us and kept us, and we have failed to say thank you. I wish this were a Bible verse, but it's not. It's actually a country song written by a man by the name of Garth Brooks. And in the words of that song, he says, I thank God for unanswered prayer. How many things have you asked for? And throughout the process of time, you have looked back and said, I thank God for unanswered prayer because that would have been the worst decision of my life. So friends, instead of being beat down today by the enemy, each and every time you, re you remember, you recall one of these occasions in your life, allow the warmth of the Holy Spirit to possess you. And in that moment, simply say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the great things that you have done. Oh, hallelujah, friends. What a song should be upon our hearts today for the great and mighty God whom we serve. Well, I love you, friends. I am so grateful. This is the highlight of my day. It truly is. It's the highlight of my day to bring you a word from the Lord, to bring you a word of encouragement, to bring you a word of motivation, and sometimes even to bring you a word of correction. It is the highlight of my day, and I'm so thankful that you spend the time, that you take the time to hear what these undeserving lips have an opportunity to tell you. So thank you, my brothers, my sisters, for praying for me, for caring for me, for loving me, for the encouraging words that you give me. I truly do love you and care about you, and I pray today that you will walk one step above the rest of the world as they walk upon the plane of this earth that you'll just be lifted to a lofty place in the presence of the Lord Jesus as you strive to live for him so faithfully today now as he wills and until next time friends I truly love you and I'll see you on the next video